Americans suffer from pain and are often prescribed opioids to treat their conditions. However, the dangers of prescription misuse, opioid use disorder, and overdose have been a growing problem throughout the United States. Uh, today, we have Dr. Eric Deppert, the chief medical officer from the Corpus Christi Medical Center, to talk about the issue and how it affects us here at home. It is a very important issue, one that, as I mentioned, has affected millions of people all across the country, some areas more than others. Uh, doctor, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you, sir. How big would you say our problem is here in the coastal bend? So I can tell you some uh, overall arching uh, statistics. So millions of patients around the country suffer from chronic pain. Right. Uh, there were 197 million prescriptions written for opiates nationwide in 2017. A staggering number. Sure right? is, absolutely. Uh, anybody who's on narco narcotic therapy, Percocets, Vicodin, things of that sure. nature, there's a one in four chance that they struggle with addiction. Now, the, the big impact is obviously we have lost productivity from work, loss of, uh, of families, destruction of family units, but lives. So I'll give you a, a sobering statistic. In the state of Texas, the death rate from opiates is about 4.3 per 100,000 lives. That's incredible. In Nueces County, it's 10.5. Wow. So we have 2.5 times the death rate in our county from narcotics. It's unacceptable. And that is not just opioids, it's uh, other stuff. Well, I guess you're, you're talking everything. You're covering the spectrum there. I'm talking about, about op opioids uh, in particular, the, the Vicodins, the Percocets, the Oxycontins. Sure. You're and not even talking heroin or perhaps other, other no, dangerous drugs. No, sir. That's crazy. Yeah, huge numbers. So what can we do about it? First, education, of course. Education is pivotal. Pa families need to know that um, they need to be hyper vigilant. We need to give them support from the community. We uh, at Corpus Christi Medical Center are launching a uh, program called Alto, which is alternative to opiates. Uh, it's a program that was first started by uh, Dr. Alexis LaPietra from St. Joseph's University in Patterson, New Jersey. Uh, I had the honor and privilege of working with Alexis uh, and also my team in Manatee County, Florida, which had horrible rates also. And in a six month period from our, our program, intervention community wide, I'm talking about behavioral health, I'm talking about churches, schools, local civic leaders, national people, DEA, police, fire, everybody. It's, it takes a whole village. We were able to decrease the narcotic overdose rate in Manatee County by 67% Amazing. in six months. We also decreased the ER prescription rate, discharge prescriptions, right. by close to 70%. And so what we focused on was in the hospital, we focused on first saying, we are going to talk about alternatives to opiates. Not, we're not gonna prescribe them. Heck, you break your leg, you sure. try to need an opiate, right? You're gonna okay. need some help. But if you come up with a kidney stone, lower back pain, migraine headache, herniated discs, we focus there first. Sure. Looking at alternatives, IV lidocaine, IV ketamine, local injections, facet sure. blocks, things of that nature. Uh, really changing okay. the whole paradigm. The alternatives. We'll talk more about that in our next segment as we address this issue of the opioid op epidemic, not only here in Uasis County, but it's facing the entire country yes, right sir. now. So we'll be back there with all the rest of the doctors and uh, hopefully get those calls coming in. If you have questions about opioids, we want to hear from you. Has opioid abuse impacted your life or someone in your life? If so, how? Go to kitripolitv.com slash vote. Give us your answer and remember to dial the number on your screen if you have any questions. The experts will be here all throughout this broadcast to answer them.